Hey everyone, Cody here, and today we're going to be doing a poured gloss enamel painting. Normally I don't do poured paintings, and, then, and even at times I've talked against them because I felt like there wasn't a lot of technical skill involved. However, a lot of people like poured paintings, um, both to buy and to make, and as such I can't diss something that people really enjoy. So I figured I would uh, go ahead and do one today. And to be honest, I've been watching some other people on YouTube make these poured paintings and I've kind of grown a respect for them because there really is uh, part of an art to it. And after watching some of these people, I've actually learned things that I just assumed that, you know, they just poured it um, and that was it. But there's a lot of um, technical stuff involved that I've never really paid attention to that after watching it, I, I kind of respected them for that. So here is the uh, this is the canvas we'll be using. It's uh, 16 by 20, I believe. And the colors we'll be using are simply black, gold, and white. The Okay, so I'll go over them real briefly. This is a Glidden high gloss black. I got it on sale um, at a department store, so it was on clearance. I normally don't use Glidden for for my uh, high gloss paint, I used Don Edwards, but it was on sale, so I got it. I'm not 100% pleased with it, to be to be 100% honest with you. Um, but I mean, it wasn't. It's not bad paint. I just I don't like the coverage it gives. It's kind of light as far as the uh, the coverage goes. So anyway, uh, you know, we'll kind of deal with that. Oh, just got something in my paint. So let me get that out of there. Okay, so I think we're good. Let me just get a stir. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to oh, and then the gold, the gold is also glidden. It's a oh sorry, it's PPG. So it's PPG Metallics. I got it at Home Depot. Uh, and it's a gold, and then the white is Dun Edwards, which I tend to always use. So what we're gonna do, clean this cup out here. So we're going to start with the black and we're going to give it, we're going to give this painting a nice kind of uh, uh, like a tone background, but it really like a skim coat to make the paint spread a little easier once we put it on. Um, I actually got a corrugated plastic, but I don't think I'm going to use that. I think I'll go ahead and use this uh, squeegee to kind of get it across the painting. Actually, I think, yeah, what I'll do is I'm going to move this. This is actually the black that I normally use. I'm gonna set this down and we're gonna cover the whole thing with black paint to kind of get it to move. I might actually use a little bit of water as well. My spray bottle's broken, unfortunately. So I'll just spray it just a little bit to give it a little bit of movement. Really what we're trying to do is just cover the surface so that uh, one, there's no gaps, but also so that uh, the paint moves around a little easier. So if you just do it right on dry canvas, the paint doesn't tend to move. Um, you, can, you can dilute the paint to make it move more. The only issue with doing that is that if you dilute the gloss enamel, um, then it doesn't cover the canvas very well. Like it, it just leaves, I don't know how to explain it. It, uh, it leaves a lot of gaps. So like the paint will go over it and then it will just kind of come right off because, um, because it's super thin already. So it's not like acrylic or oil where it has a little bit of body to it. It's very thin. Um, it's, it's thick as far as the material goes, but when it covers, it doesn't cover as thick as say acrylic does. So that's the problem with uh, with trying to dilute it and then just use, using diluted paint. So I'll just kind of cover this to the edges here. And a lot of this paint's gonna move once we put the other paint on it. So, I mean, that's fine. We just kind of want to give it a nice even coat. We may actually do a little bit more paint just to cover it. 
fill that out to the edges. So I'm going to put this aside, actually I'm going to put it in a bucket of water so that, uh, you know, it can, I'm going to put it in the bucket of water so the paint doesn't dry on it. Alright, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this down so that, uh, you know, when we pour it, it's more even since this little foam piece is uh, warped, but I want to use something to kind of catch the paint on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fill a cup with the paints. Um, I don't really know the best order, but since white is on the bottom, what I'll probably do is start with, or I mean sorry, black is on the bottom, so I'm going to start with white in the bottom of the cup. So hopefully you can see that. I'm going to put this cup here. So I'm going to do some white. And then we'll do gold. And then I'll do some black. And then I'll just go ahead and do the process again. I kind of want quite a bit of white. And then some gold. So already, you can kind of tell that the black is starting to absorb everything else. Um, I'm going to add a little more white because I, I don't know if this is going to be enough paint to cover the pour, like the, uh, the whole canvas. Again, I don't do too many of these, so I couldn't say, but I guess we'll find out. So now that I've got those in there, I'm going to stir them one time, and that's it. And, uh, and now we'll go ahead and pour it. <coughs> So I will go ahead and do that and we'll lift it up. I'll let some of this drip off. You can see it's already tilting. And we'll set that aside. Now one thing that I learned in these videos that I never really thought about was they said to always try to keep the, the weight of the paint in the middle of the painting, which I never thought about. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this paint to the sides. I'm actually going to move that over here out of the way. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to pull this down to the bottom. Then we're going to pull the weight back. Then we're going to pull it down. Okay. Now just looking at it, I think that these are not going to be enough. I think I'm going to have to add some more paint to it. So I'm going to, kind of looks like a mushroom. Um, so I'm going to pull that down and just let it go and kind of watch it. Now like I said, I think that we're going to have to do some more uh, paint on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get our cup and we're going to do it again. But I think this time I'll do more black. We're going to try two different things. We're going to try some of those. So we're going to do black first. Okay. And then we're going to do the gold. And I'm just trying to get it to set on top. I'm not trying to get it to mix. And then we're going to do the white. I'm not going to do any more than that, and I'm also not going to stir it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this right in the middle again, and just kind of let it go. And I think I like that better without mixing it. Also, the white and gold looks pretty good. <coughs> so we'll go ahead and use the paint that's on here, and we're going to kind of try to get it to go to the sides. Fill that side. All right. Bring it down. 
Okay, so I think that that's the trick right there, is not mixing it, because um, that actually gave us some separation between the colors. I don't really like this gray that it made, so that actually makes a lot of sense. So I think in the future we probably won't do that. So we're gonna bring it down here, and then what we're gonna do is, <coughs> I'm going to, so to bring the weight of the painting, back to the center and then to use the weight to bring to the corner so we'll just cover that corner you can see we're, we're losing a lot of paint here I think it just needs to cover it okay so then what we'll do is we'll probably and bring it down here. You can see it's not wanting to move. that um, I want to try to fill this other side the problem is it's starting to coagulate so it's starting to dry and it doesn't want to move anymore I think we're going to have to do it one more time so we'll do the black then the gold we'll do quite a bit of gold and then we'll do white here and again I think that because the gloss and is kind of thick as opposed to like watered down acrylic it doesn't want to move maybe I should have thinned it a little tiny bit maybe a quarter or something I don't know I don't really know what the specs are on this but we're gonna go ahead and put that here I'm gonna lift up on it I'll just put the excess here so that it gives it some movement Cover the side, bring it down. Yeah, it's really moving now. You can see it. All right, cover the side. All right, cool. So then, what we'll do now is I think we'll just cover this side over here since that's where the weight is anyway. Finish over in this corner here. It's stripping everywhere. And you can see it's starting to kind of fill in here. So I'm just going to break these edges here because the weight sometimes just stops when there's a lot of paint there. So I'm just trying to get it to flow by having the paint, like the wet paint there. And we're almost there. Just about. And we're good. All right, 
So go ahead and put this on this one can here. I don't want to set it right in the middle of the paint. <laughs> so, I'm going to move this down. I don't know why it keeps tilting. I guess there's a lot of weight on that side. So what I'm going to do here is just kind of touch up the edges. This bad boy doesn't wanna doesn't wanna stay. Really wants to tilt. Alright. Alright, so now I'm just gonna check the edges. I just look pretty good. Yeah, so that's it guys. I mean, it turned out pretty good. Um, I can't lie, like the poured paintings do have some, some nice like sets of color. I think that I prefer paintings that have big blocks of color as opposed to small little swirls of color, if you know what I mean. Um, this actually turned out pretty cool. I, I do like it. And I think I need to <laughs> move it over a little bit so it doesn't fall. There we go. I think that's good. Um, but that's it here. Let me show you guys the finished painting so you guys can see it. I apologize that the angles that I paint at are terrible, but I just can't. I don't have anywhere else to put the camera. Anyway, that is it, guys. So this was all... Um, gloss enamel I guess technically the the gold isn't gloss enamel but it's in the house paint section so and it's house paint so it's all house paint and you got to see this black white gold poured painting um, I hope you enjoyed it I probably will do more paintings like poured paintings if people like them I do like the way that it turned out I can't lie and uh, if you liked it please uh, if you like this video like rate share subscribe and I'll catch you guys in another one